What am I here to do today? What are we going to talk about? Well, I just wanted to talk about some of the things I learned on my last trip and editing the video that I made for you. One, I learned something that's very basic, uh, that you can set your video to manual as well as just like you do with your camera when you're shooting stills. When you're on auto, uh, it's it chooses all the auto settings for you. You end up <laughs> indoors, you end up shooting up to like ridiculous ISOs and you get all this grain and noise. I'm learning about sound. I, I still need to upgrade my microphone system and, and I will eventually. Um, but right now it's not like super important for me because you know, I get, it gets the job done, which is what I want, which is what I expect of all of my gear. I don't expect a lot. I just want to be able to get the job done. There's that. Um, I learned how to shoot better B roll, not during the trip, not the stuff that I shot. It's okay. But afterwards I learned what I could have done better things. I maybe didn't do so well, whatever. So I had a really hard time editing that video. I started out using um, Premiere Pro. I started out on that, I got about halfway through just assembling the video and realized that ugh, it's pain. I switched back over to iMovie, which is on most Apple products, and it did the job just as good, uh, if not better. I mean, it was just easier, it's just user-friendly. I mean, anyone who's doesn't know much about video editing can do a, can make a, a splice together a video and make a pretty decent one. It just makes things a lot easier when it's, you know, click and drop and drag and, and, and play. And it's really simple. So I, I made the, the video that's the predecessor to this video. Um, what did I call it? I don't exploring Asheville. I don't know. But yeah, that video was basically, I cut that together using iMovie. Does Premiere Pro have advantages? It does. It has more transitions. It has just the the functionality of it is just ridiculous. I mean, you can uh, get down to the umpteenth degree, and you can expose each frame and to to, to exactly what you want it to. You can fine tune the audio much better. And um, I'm actually using that on this video because I was forced to learn it. I made a second rendition of that video, which I, I'm not going to post it. I, I thought about taking down the other one and reposting it. I'm not doing that. I'm not here to grow a subscriber base. I don't care about that. That's no, those are things that are unimportant to me. I use YouTube as a, it's an accountability check for me. When I know I put a, a video out and even if I have only 20 people that watch it, I know that there's some people that watch it and maybe they're waiting for the next video. Here you go, this is the next video. I wanted to make a video about some of the things that I learned on the last one. Basically, expose your video just like you're gonna expose your photos. It's pretty simple. Use lights, I'm using lights. Get a better lens. It's all about glass a lot of the time. People ask, what, what what camera body should I get? What camera body should I get? A, it doesn't matter what you shoot with and because you should know the basics of photography and you should know the exposure triangle. And if you do that, it doesn't really matter what kind of camera you're using. Uh, you can get a great shot on any camera. Uh, but B, you know, it's all about glass. And uh, this is not the best lens either, but it is the only wide lens that I have in my arsenal, if you will. Camera lenses, it's important. Okay, so what I have sitting in front of me, now it's the second uh, DSLR I ever bought and paid for. I bought it used. Brand new, I think it costed, you know, when it first came out, I think it was like 1200 bucks. Um, obviously, it's some years old now. I don't know how many years old. I'm not gonna do the research. It's an older camera body. It does the job and it does what I needed to do. The first one I bought was a Canon Rebel XTI, I believe. And that is a really old camera. And that's the one that I gave to my daughter that I talked about in my recent video, or one of my recent videos. I bought this after that. It, it does great, I love it. I love the functionality of it. I love the way it feels in my hand. It does come with a battery grip. I don't care for that. I don't do a lot of vertical shooting. And then I, I recently picked this up. When I say recently, I mean, you know, four or five months ago, I picked up this uh, 70 to 200. Uh, it's an F4, it's not, a, it's not one of the better lenses. It's not one of the fastest uh, in the world. It's, I think it's version one and that's, you know, it, it works fine for what, what I need it for. It does what I need it to do. And on a dime, I mean, I picked this thing up, I think it was 300 bucks. I mean, you can't buy even this 
the version one, you can't even buy that for 300 bucks right now. Out of the way, one of the things I learned about B-roll was just being stable. Ah, oh, yeah, you can use the warp stabilizers and all that good stuff. iMovie does a pretty decent job. If it's not terrible, shake. It does a pretty good job of stabilizing, doing the warp stabilization thing. Uh, and it's not like terrible and it, it does make it flow a little better. So, uh, you know, I haven't yet figured that part out in Premiere Pro. I know that you can warp stabilize and then like bake it in and then warp stabilize again. And it'll just, you can keep doing it until it's right. But I'm not going to do that. I, what I wanted to do was try and find something you know, that can help. I, I work a full-time job. This is a hobby. For, well, it's not really a hobby. I'd like to turn it into a career, not the YouTube thing. But so what I, what did I buy? I bought a stabilizer. It's not the, it's not one of these, you know, it's not an expensive stabilizer. I bought it for 60 bucks off of Facebook marketplace. It's, it's a manual. It's weighted. Everything is manual. You got to learn how to balance your camera. I'll show it to you. This is it. So you hold the handle here, it's got weights on the bottom and then it's got, you know, you can move this up and down and basically the more you move it, and it squeaks, it does squeak, but uh, you can move it up and down, it turns, uh, the handle moves, but when you move the handle, it, it stays, well, ish, it stays straight-ish. And the, the point of the, the fact of the matter is you don't want to be whipping this thing around, but you and it's got multiple spots where you can move your camera. To, it, it's all about balance. You can move the handle back and forth. You can move your camera back and forth and left to right. Uh, and this up and down, you can remove and, and the weights and, and add if you need to. Uh, so I, I tested it out a little bit and uh, just in my backyard. And, you know, here you can see I'm just, I'm walking around. You have to move slow. Probably wasn't moving as slow as I should have been. I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to use the tools that I learned after the fact. Move slow, start low, go high, move from left to right. Don't, don't tilt pan. Don't, don't move like you're on a fixed axis. Move this way and this way and move in. Those things make good B-roll. It's cheap, it squeaks, but it works. So that's uh, something to, if you wanna take that with you, whatever. I mean, not take that, but you know, take that piece of information and use it for whatever you'd like. Mind if I do? So I also learned I love French press coffee. It's better than a Keurig. <sighs> Everyone already knew that. I'm behind the times. I'm always behind. That's just the story of my life. We got gear out of the way. Gear is important, but it's not as important as the, the knowledge that you have to have when shooting. So yeah, there's that. What else makes a good video? Music makes a good video. I found a great royalty-free music site that I've, I've been using. You can find it. It's uh, you just Google music, uh, YouTube music library, and it'll pop up and there's all kinds of royalty free music that you can just take and download. Uh, music is, is definitely, it helps with the, adding a dramatic flair to your, to your video. What else did I learn? Hmm. Oh, your volume. You don't want to record at the highest volume rate because then you pick up all the background noise and then you have to do edit that out in post and, or try to try to filter it out in post production. And you can, like I said, Premiere Pro is pretty decent for doing audio and editing the audio, which is a nice because I can isolate the track and I can edit it out and, and make it sound kind of good. So audio is important. Audio is extremely important. Uh, camera angles, the length of the clip, all those things combined will help make a good video. And these are just some of the things I learned on my last go around. I'm not perfect. I don't expect to be perfect. I'm working on it. I'd like to take the video aspect and use it in my photography business and offer that to folks if they want stills, they want video, what have you. And I wanna be able to do that properly and I don't know. I, don't, I like making these videos. I like talking to you. It's kind of therapeutic a little bit. I'm not sure, you know, it's kind of weird, but it's, it, it is. It's a therapy almost. And the, the podcast, I oh, just love doing that. I'm going to take another swig.
It's good stuff. So I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys today and just and just sit down and I just wanted to kind of tell you some of the things that I learned on my last video experience extravaganza, if you will. Yeah. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the stuff that I use, the things that I learned, and share a little bit of the gear that I use uh, on the cheap, cheap. I don't know. Whatever. But if you're wanting to start a YouTube channel, it's hard. It's not the easiest thing to do. You know, it takes a lot. A good idea for these videos, if you're going to start making videos, is you should script. Just have some bullet points. I don't. And it's obvious because I say a lot of ums and okays and yeah, anyways and things of that nature. But I usually edit those out. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. So guys, I wish you well. And I hope that you're out there doing all you can to be the best that you can. I'm not one of these positivity gurus. I just try to be positive in my life. And what you do is what you do. Guys, I love you. Peace. See ya. Hands out. <clears throat>